In this video, I'm going to show you a little secret to saving money on apps and game subscriptions on your iPhone. So when you have a subscription, like you've got something to Apple TV, or maybe you have a game or some other app on your iPhone, there are different plans or different levels to that subscription. And you'll notice a lot of times they'll kind of get you right in the beginning, like an introductory rate, limited time rate, whatever. You sign up right now for a whole year, you save this much. It's the only time you'll ever see this price. That's not true. Any subscription that's offered, you can actually switch to. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. If you go to your settings, there's going to be a subscriptions area. I usually just use the search bar for subscriptions, but it's going to be in your own profile spot. And so when you click on your account, you'll see here at the bottom or in the middle or so subscriptions. And so when we click on subscriptions, that's going to show you everything that you are basically paying for, uh, whether it's app, whether it's some kind of uh, Apple feature or uh, anything else, any subscription that you have through Apple from your iPhone. Now, inside of these, let's take a look at Hot Wheels, for instance. I think I did one month free. I might have paid for one month for my son to play this game. Uh, but we click on that, and we're going to be able to see a little bit more detail on that subscription. It looks like it was $9.99 a month, or maybe I canceled it before I was charged $9.99 a month. And that's what I was offered from the Hot Wheels app, right? $9.99 a month or some level for the annual. There's a little button here called See All Plans. When we click or tap on see all plans, this is every plan available on that app. And so you see the first one here is a monthly membership plan of $6.99 a month. So I could actually click on any one of these. The reason that, the, that there's multiple is because there's multiple ways that they offer these. One might be the first time, like limited time offer, and so that goes in as a subscription. One might be like they have a special, like maybe it's around Black Friday and they have some you know, special that pops up on the app and that's listed as a different subscription so they can track it on their end. But you see them all here. And so I can actually scroll down and even see all of the, uh, yeah, the annual membership plan down here too, which is a lot cheaper than $10 a month, right? But up here, if I wanted to, I could renew this plan, not for $9.99, but I could renew it for $6.99 a month. And so I'm saving, what, $3 a month on that subscription. You'll see this across the board, even things like, um, I believe if I go back here, I'm currently paying monthly for this, so I know it's more expensive monthly. I may may pay for it yearly here soon, but we'll see. But Paramount Plus, for instance. So even apps like that, uh, where we have a streaming service here, $11.99 per month, click See All Plans. And I realized this, I was actually paying $12.99 a month because that's what they offered me. Well. They have a plan for $11.99. I literally click that and now I'm charged $11.99 a month instead of $12.99 a month and immediately save $12 a year or a dollar a month. Uh, and then you can scroll down on this and you know, they have a few options on the per year rate, uh, but basically it's 120, right? I don't have another option. So sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Uh, on the Apple related stuff, you know, Apple knows that you can do this. So they don't have anything on here that... Uh, you can get a discount on. Like if I go to Apple Arcade and see all plans, I'm going to have just the monthly and the yearly plan. Like it's not like they have any other plans in here where they offer some limited time thing that you can click on and actually just have. Uh, Apple knows what they're doing. But all these other apps, I always check subscriptions and then check all plans or if the app has like a free trial period or a free month before I finish that, Instead of just letting it charge me, I go to this spot and I choose which plan that I want because that's how I can save money on app subscriptions or game subscriptions or anything like this on the iPhone. And that's how you now can save money, knowing this little secret on your iPhone to see all the different plans available on your app subscriptions.